Joanna Page with you up until 11 on BBC Radio Wales and it's great to have your company this morning. Now it's never too early in the day to start talking about food and what better excuse than the Welsh Street Food Awards which are coming up later this month. Barbecue legends Sam Evans and Shauna Gwynn are lucky enough to be on the judging panel and they're here to tell me all about it. Good morning! Good morning! <laughs> oh, you've got a lovely burst of energy there, girls. We are fully caffeinated, Joe. It is a Sunday morning and uh, you have plenty of lattes. <laughs> oh, well, I tell you what, you two have got to have the best jobs in the world tasting other people's food. Will you tell me all about the awards now that are coming up? We do have the best uh, job in the world because it involves eating lots and lots of street food as we form the judging panel for the Welsh Street Food Awards. Now, they're going to be held in Cardiff on the 21st and 22nd of May. Now, you can come as a spectator. There's lots of different street food stalls. They're going to have some live music. It's a really, really fun day. Uh, about 12 different traders, and we go around and sample all of their delicious food. Well, oh, it's, my gosh, that sounds it's fantastic. It's important that you come as a trader because you can cast a people's vote. So we could pick a winner, but you can choose a street food store that you want to see through to the finals as well. And you can represent Wales and you can represent Britain in the European Street Food Awards. It's mad. Oh, my gosh, that sounds fantastic. So for all the listeners out there, will you just tell me what street food is? The interesting thing about it when the whole movement started is what you could have is really cutting edge, high quality, excellently produced food, but without the costs of the bricks and mortar of a restaurant. So that's the beauty of it for us, having this restaurant quality food, but having it on a street food stall at an affordable price. Right. Do you think we've got a good standard of street food in Wales? Oh, we sure do. I mean, over the last decade since we've been trading, we've just seen the standards go up and up and up. And the diversity of food that we have here in Wales is incredible. Yeah, we, we've got so many brilliant producers. I mean, for example, um, at these street food awards, which, you know, run Saturday and Sunday, uh, we've got everything from tacos, gnocchi, we've got poutine, we've got Indian, we've got Chinese, we've got, you know, Japanese food. So it's such a fantastic place to eat some great food. And oh, we're delighted to actually, this is the third year that we've judged these awards and the standard that we see every year just gets better and better, which just makes our job more and more difficult. How do you choose a winner when all of the food is fantastic? <laughs> well, I know. What are you going to do? What sort of, what is your favourite street food? Oh, Joe, you can't <laughs> ask us that. <laughs> it's like asking us for you to choose one of your favourite children, which might be easy for some parents. But, uh, but, but, but how are you going to cope? How are you going to cope with the awards, though? Because, you know, when I watch stuff on the telly and then you see a judge picking out, you know, maybe one spoonful of cake and going, mm, that's really nice. I, I, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'd have to eat the lot. I mean, are you just going to be picking out little bits from each stall or are you just going to eat the entire lot of it? Joe, you, we're not one spoonful kind of girls, you know. We'll be eating the whole portion. Sam is from Merthyr Tidville. I'm from Belfast. We grew up in families <laughs> where if there's food on a plate in front of you, you eat it and you eat it all and you'd be grateful for it. <laughs> but, um, you know, after you've judged 12 full portions of food, you really have to have made sure that you've brought your elasticated waist pants because there's a lot of food. And what I'm thinking now is, Joe, maybe you should come down and help us. Oh, I tell you what, I'd love to. This sounds <laughs> right up my street. Well, we'll be talking more to the girls in a minute, but first of all, we're going to have Jack Severetti with Dancing Through the Rain. <laughs> 